Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing of a phone cannon I ordered. This is the MTM PF 22.2 phone cannon kit. Um, I ordered this, it did come as a kit. It has a bottle of foam shampoo in it. So we'll try that out and see how it works out. But I mainly bought it to use with my other foaming shampoos that I have. So just wanna do a quick unboxing and first impression. So kit comes with the body, suction tube, bottle, M22 fitting, quarter inch plug, 1.1 and 1.25 orifice. So I've already taken the 1.25 out and put the one millimeter, or excuse me, the 1.1 millimeter in. So we'll try that out. But just looking at it, the bottle itself, the bottle feels kind of flimsy. I mean, it's thicker than a Coke bottle or a Mountain Dew bottle, but feels kind of flimsy for what it is, but the capacity of this is one liter. So that's cool. But the, uh, as they call it, the body, I call it the foamer. It's pretty solid. It's heavy, has a lot of weight to it. Plastic on it feels really good. The adjustment feels pretty good. Take a look at that. So it's not a lot of turning to get the fan to concentrate or to fan out. The top to add the foam or to make less foam clicks. So you have several turns you can go, well, maybe not several turns, but it does go around a few times. So that's set already at less foam. But like I said, the body overall is pretty cool. The suction tube, just hold it up. So looks like the suction tube might barely get down to the bottom. This is my first time putting it together. What do you know? Doesn't want to go together right. There we go. So even this is pretty heavy right here. All the weight is kind of concentrated on the top. It has a conical shape. So even empty setting it down, it does have a little weight on that side, but it is standing upright. So that's cool. Here's our little quarter inch, as they call it plug, I call it an adapter or fitting, but that'll go in right there. They already put thread tape on it. Another nice addition. This is the, they call it the M22 fitting. I believe this would, I don't know. I guess that's maybe to help you hook it up to a garden hose. I'm not really well versed on the fittings. So just looking at the box again, comes boxed up nicely. I bought this, or excuse me, I purchased this off of detailed image. So kind of give you a little rundown. The PF22 saves time. Foam penetrates doing the work for you. Longer dwell time leads to cleaner surfaces. Pressure washing saves water versus traditional methods. Foam reduces the risk of marring and swirl marks. I know for the most part we'll foam it, then we go back over it with a contact wash. Just a few little applications. It's pretty cool. Someone did, says agriculture, but that's industrial equipment. And for you guys that are into cleaning those solar panels, you can do solar panels also. All right, looking around on here, I didn't see a country of origin. I'd imagine if it was made in America, it'd probably be stamped. And it looks like the body right here says it was made in Italy. Maybe the whole thing was made in Italy. I'm not sure, but I don't see a country of origin. So as long as it's not built like a Fiat Chrysler product, it'd probably hold up really well. All right, guys, just that's pretty much it. I just want to do a quick unboxing and introduction to this feels pretty good feels heavy duty i bought two foam cannons i purchased a trinova off of amazon we'll take a look at that one next and i'm hoping to do a foam cannon battle with these two with the trinova and this mtm foam cannon to see how they work out but overall man i'm, I'm satisfied with the build on this like i said it feels heavy but it does have a metal chunk right there maybe that's why it feels heavy the plastic feels good Everything feels pretty good on it. The only weak point I see is the, the container. 
well, let's see, they call it the bottle. Sounds fitting. That's about the only weak point I see on here. Like I said, it's kind of flimsy. I have a chemical guys phone can and the bottle is a lot thicker than this one is. So hopefully this holds up well. Hopefully I don't run over it and hopefully I don't drop it. That's the big thing that kind of bothers me is dropping this. How well is it gonna hold up? When it's cold outside and you drop it in the water and the liquid in it's cold, is it gonna break open or is it gonna hold up? I know if it's real hot, sometimes it'll bend. But I know when plastic gets cold and you drop it and it has a hard drop, it'll crack. So remains to be seen, we'll check it out. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Like I said, hopefully in the next few days or a week or so, I can do a foam cannon battle between this MTM and the Trinova that I purchased. That's all I got. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for future content. And share it with your friends, guys. But that's all I got for today. Hey, y'all be safe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.